Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are upgrading my ping pong ball catapult which I actually made for a science class in school. So let's get into it. So the catapult is powered by rubber bands and as the tension pulls back and then it releases it should launch the ball. Before my original design I had this giant rubber band right here and two on the sides but those both broke. So I should probably find a way to repair those as well as making this one stronger because it's kind of loose. So my first step was moving this hook back here so this rubber band when pulled back can apply more tension hopefully making that faster but I still need to work out what I can do to make more tension as well. For the rubber band itself, I looped it around here, so now I can also play music on this, but it is tighter around providing more tension, so that looks good. So I got two more rubber bands right here, and they also help kind of stabilize this in the center, but when I'm firing that comes off so i need to fix that so to strengthen this top part we added some more nails but these were deeper since the last ones didn't really go in and these were 40 by one one and one and a half so that actually got into the thing making this much stronger except for this part which is mainly just for blocking it so it fires at a 45 degree angle, which is the best angle you should fire from. I'm also going to add this block up here because it seems like I'm shooting more at a 60 degree angle than a 45, so I'm going to hopefully change that. So for my final product, I realized that this actually hindered the experience of the actual shot more than help, so I removed that. Still at a decent angle, and then I added a second layer of rubber bands right here on each side. So now there's two, two there, both on these, and then one there. So there's five different rubber bands providing power, and I still have that looped. So let's get to test. I'm going to have it set up basically the same as last time because these are giant squares. If I set it right there, that's seven feet, first one, 14 feet, and 21 feet. So we are going to fire twice because we have a extra ammo. That was shot number one. It actually went in the net. And shot number two. This is round two of firing. So our final review is we definitely upgraded it. It went about 10 feet before and then we got like 18 to 20 here. Some 14, but that was when I didn't have it fully primed back. Uh, honestly, I think it's a nice improvement and for what it is, the size, it's literally less than a foot each way. Actually, I actually think this is exactly a foot, but for how small it is, it fires decently well. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and see you next time.